stadium on Saturday. <laughs> because all the other days, the place is almost like grounded. That cannot happen. It mustn't happen to your son. It mustn't happen to her daughter. It mustn't happen to anybody's child. He must be able to wake up and say, oh, they have this badminton training here. They have this handball training here. And my son wants to play handball. I will drop him here between four and six, three times a week, and come and pick him. If that does not happen in Nigeria, then we'll still be playing on lock. So do we, are we going to have to wait for the government to do that? And that's why I said... I, you know, I, want, I, want, I wanted to <laughs> chip in a question. Why do, you, why do you think the Americans set up the NBA, and after the NBA, they set up the NCAA? It was mentioned in one part. The Americans looked at it. Most of the 75, 70, 75% of the players in the NBA are black. They purposely set up that to take them off the streets, off, off. Have somewhere where you can expend your energy. That's where you see college basketball grow the way it grew in America. Because it had a reason. But we don't have any reason. As long as we do not have a reason and it just comes to, ah, you can play ball, we discover this Okocha today, we discover this over family, we seem to be fine. When we have over 200 million people. And sports is not just about football. No, no, be, 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 beyond, beyond football, uh, um, like, like I said, I have been privileged to work with kids. I mean, from 18 months old, working in a British um, educational system. And um, you will discover that they have bundles of skills, bundles of talent and energy. And when you fail to channel a child's energy yeah. towards a proper direction, you are heading for the doom. I, I have had discussion with parents. We've helped save a lot of parents. I had a scenario, and um, some years back, we were in Holland. We took one of um, some of our players, and when we got there, the, this boy happens to be a child of affluence, but fantastic talent. And we asked Pater Cruz Adam, and they were asking, "Are you a team or a college?" I said, "We are a college." They said, "This couldn't be." I said, "Well, that is what we have," and they spotted. This boy. And he said, can we take him over? We will do everything. We called it. And he said, the boy, we have to go to school. He has paid for the best education in England. He has done this. Said, okay, you can go. But I can easily tell you, five years after, I met the same parents. And the man said, do you know that if we are listening to you, that the whole period was wasted, that this boy decided not to go to school, that anywhere he sees playground, he will move out in England and go and play. They couldn't achieve their objective. And this boy is very brilliant. At least he came out with seven A stars. Very brilliant, but talented. So it, it comes back to parents too. You see, we, we, we need to be very, very focused. We have to discover these kids. Like, like I said, home is the first agent of socialization. Mm -hmm. We are the first that we have contact. What we are doing now, I keep on repeating it about the change we are talking about. The change we are talking about will start with me. What can I do? And that is why we set aside Saturdays 8.30 to 11 to work with these kids with modern equipment. And we normally encourage parents. Consistency is very, very, very vital. Mm. Then beyond that, you have to be seated. Watch your child grow so that you can know the basic area and that is what i've discovered when we go for tournaments abroad you will see a lot of parents from us from america from canada traveling with their children coming to come and give them a lot of support the coach that is handling your children are you sure the kind of character is he a criminal you need to know is he a pedophile you need mm -hmm. to know is he a racist sexist you need to know uh, is he having hepatitis b or c you need to know so that at the end of the day some of all these things is not being transferred into the lives of the children. Is it a drug addict? You need to know. So these are the reasons why parents need to be highly involved. The schools, well, they are profit-making organizations. You cannot stop them from making their profit. But the public schools, we don't have our structures. Um, gone are the days. You are talking about this of any was to Stephen Keshi. They are discovered from schools. But when you go back, you will realize that most of the people that work with them then are people with passion, great game masters. masters. But now in schools, 
we don't have in public schools we don't have any i challenge even the sports department even in lagos state to come out with a structure and come and tell us that this is what is available because when they go out when they come to play tournament you see most of them are nursing mercenaries to come and play because it's very, very difficult if you don't have a structure how will you produce yes. wonderful players so there's no structure in public schools concerning sports development. And that is where the state needs to seriously work on. Mm -hmm. Irrespective, uh, like, like I, I, I told you, um, the Basketball Association in Lagos State just certified 33 coaches. But beyond that, we have more than that. But schools... 33 coaches for schools or for their association itself? For grassroots for development. Grass coaching. Let us... Well, what about the basketball? Do we have basketball? Do we have up to 36 basketball courts spread across Lagos? You see, it, the, the basic reason for that is if you go to schools now, the only thing they can afford is basketball courts. Beyond, beyond the football pitches that you, can, you cannot imagine, that you cannot see, they can easily afford because when you have a multipurpose court, which may not take a, a distance, then you can have your basketball, you can have your volleyball, you can have your, you, you can have your handball, ball, whatsoever. But most importantly, children love basketball. So that is why the state association is saying, okay, let us know the coaches. Let us train them. But even before we can get that 33, many of the schools are not even willing to send. Many don't even have coaches. They don't. So we have a big problem. So before that boy of eight, or five years can discover himself, he would have gotten to the age of 30 years. And he still wants to play. So that corroborates what he spoke about, about a player uh, returning at the age of 26. So, so maybe we you, need you to need look to... into structure. Mm -hmm. We need to look into the leadership. And, you know. You know, Bolt, using Bolt, is always a good example for everybody in athletes, um, in sport. He was not supposed to come forth at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. It was being primed for the 2012. It came early, but because they had a program. The person that's going to take over from Bolt, they already know. Like he said, they know him. The person that will win, should be able to win Jamaica Olympic gold in the 100 meters in seven years' time, they know. But, it but is not it, an emergency. It is not a mistake. Okay, hold on. And that Jamaica is not as rich as, as Nigeria. <laughs> the, hold on. There is, in the sports ministry, on a yearly basis, there's a budget for grassroots sports development. At the federal, at the state, and the local government. And the local government. In Ministry of Education, there is a budget for sports in the different schools. The and amount is something else no, no, know, the, other issues leave the amount whether it is one naira or 200 million no. is irrelevant no. there is money no. I look budgeted it. for sports both in the sports ministry and in the education, education ministry what do you think should be done with these monies now i'm not asking you what should be done with those who misappropriated these monies before i'm talking yeah. about now. going forward Starting on a clean What state. should be done? Forget clean, clean okay. state or not. What should be done with these monies? I, I believe that we need to toe the line that he said. I, I believe the best thing is that, you know, in communities you have schools around the area. Schools are scattered in one axis. You need to make sure that there's a sports training complex near them. So if the schools, if you now need to make a government fiat and say that every school must go and use this facility once or twice a week. That is when you are, it's like an intervention. But when they don't even have facility to train with, how do you know that your son or my daughter is interested in basketball when he doesn't even know how a basketball court looks like or knows what a basketball is? It is when a child picks up something that you continue to say, okay, he likes this or he doesn't like this. But when he doesn't have the opportunity, we have so many Serenas of Venus, but where are the courts for them to even say, I have a racket, okay, swing, let me swing. Oh, I like, mommy, I like this sport. Mm -hmm. it has to, we have to bring infrastructure is the first <laughs> thing that has to come in. And then the coaches that will run those programs, like you said, trained coaches, not neophytes, who played the game before and think they can just become coaches. Be, be, beyond that, I've spoken about sports funding. And I want to ask this question. 
a lot of probes in the power sector, in the petroleum sector, in this. Have you ever heard about the probe in sports sector? Everybody no, usually probe the allowances for the super. Eagle. Is it open as the way others have been done? No. You see, sport has been seen as a free will. Mm. And that's why the private sectors are mm. always scared mm. to come in. When you are talking about sports funding, it, it goes a long way. If I'm developing a program for you, I'm supposed to give you the financial backup that will take that program to the next level. Usain Bolt that he's talking about was discovered in a class, not for athletics, for cricket. cricket. And it was... While going through that process, they discover that they can do more. Mm. And going back to what we, we, we normally tell parents that look. We have to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We normally tell parents that we have to go. <laughs> well, Olushe, everybody, sports expert, thank you so much yeah, for coming on the show. <laughs> and Jide Alaka, sports editor, Premium <laughs> Times, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you very much. Your thoughts, thank you, thank you. We'll take a moment and we'll be back. Please don't go away.